For Judas, Jesus was just a means to an end. He's thinking, if I follow Jesus, then he will give me power and riches. But for Mary, Jesus was the end. Knowing him was the riches. Judas served Jesus to get things. Mary gave up anything in order to know more of Jesus. Judas says, you know what? If Jesus is not going to get me riches and power and health and wealth, then what good is he? Mary says, were the whole realm of nature mine, that were a present far too small. Love so amazing, so divine demands my soul, my life, my all. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, he watched it white as snow. See, Judas thought of Jesus as useful. Mary thought of him as beautiful. Something that is useful, you use as a helpful tool to obtain something else you really want. So if Jesus is useful to you, then he's useful as means to heaven, a good marriage, health, career success. But something that's beautiful to you, you love in and for itself, right? A tire iron is useful to me, so I keep one in my car at all times. It's useful to me because of what it can do for me in a moment that I need it, right? And if it breaks, I throw it away. My wife and my children are beautiful to me. I don't keep them in my life because of what they can do for me. I'm not like, I'm going to keep you around as long as you hold out the promise that one day you'll be able to earn me, you know, several million dollars. That would be a nice side benefit, but that's not why I keep them around, right? I keep them around because they are beautiful to me. Judas's find Jesus to be useful. Mary's find him beautiful. Beautiful. 